Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Montezal. So I open up, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem and Papa Dash, that we're honored to the uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Blue Will. Peace and salutation to all you walking out there that's pushing and laboring in the street and truth and sincerity. Right? I just want to do a quick little uh, uh, lesson, short lesson on uh, who comes first. You know, who comes first? I'm jump right in it. This is uh, Matthew's uh, 12 and 50. Uh, matter of fact, it's like I'm gonna start at 47. It's Matthew 12 and 47. So then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brother stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said to him that told him, Who is my mother? And who is my brother? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brother. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my, my brother and sister and mother. Time. So basically, you know, the brothers, you know, who in the faith. You know, those, those, those are the Lord's family, man. And also, that's our family. You know, uh, all the brothers around us, those are our brothers, man. And, and the aqua that's in there, in here doing the will of the Heavenly Father, too, man. That's the family. That's who comes first, man. You know, the men, the men of the Lord, man, your brothers, man. And the sisters that's doing the will of the Heavenly Father, too. Okay? more quick precept. This is in Matthew uh, 10 and forget exactly where it, where it is. Um, give me one second. Bear with me. Right, kind. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 10 and uh, 34. He says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send a peace or the sword. Right. The Lord came to draw a line, man. You know, uh, to create sides, man. It's, it's his side and the side of the world, man. You know, and a lot of our family members are still in the world, man. You know, I have somebody say to me tonight, you know, they pose a question like, uh, so who comes first, the brothers or or your fl or your family? And I, and I answered and I said, hey man, the brothers come first, man. And the reason why is because the brothers come first because the brothers ain't gonna turn on you like like uh, your family will, you know, being in this truth, man. Because during the time of martial law, you know, some brothers' families gonna turn them in, man. You know, brothers, brother, true brothers gonna look out for you, you know. He says, for I am Salakia. He says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Right. You're going to have family members that's going to be against this truth, man. They're not going to be with it, man. You know, they're going to forsake the Yahweh Shem man. They're going to forsake the truth, man. You know, because they drunk off of Babylon juice. They drunk, they drunk, they drunk off their own philosophies of what family is and, and, and um, you know, uh, how the way life's supposed to be. You know, they drunk off the so-called white man's philosophies. Okay? He says, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Right. See? And a man's foes shall be they of his own household, man. You know, your family is not going to be with you on this thing because they don't understand, man. The Lord has blinded them. You know, he has made them uh, 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 spiritually discerned, man. They're not going to get this truth, man. The Lord don't want them to get this truth, man. Okay? The only ones that get the truth, man, is your, your Akim that surrounds you, man. They're the ones, they're your family because they're the only ones who understand, man. 
They understand what you're going through. You know, they understand the shit, the hell that you catch, man. You know, that's why the Lord set it up that way, man. So we can be, be here for one another, man. Okay. He says, "He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me." Time, and, 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 and you know, and, and you're not, man. You know, you got to put them to the side, man, and serve the Lord, man, all the way. Okay. He says, "And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me." Right. You can't worry about losing your family in this thing, man. You're gonna lose it, okay? Your family is not with you. That's part of bearing your cross, man. You know, you have to deal with that, man. Yeah, it's heartbreaking, but this is part. Of, this is part of bearing your cross. You know, they 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 not gonna get it, man. They don't understand, man. The Lord blinded. Them. It is what it is, man. And he that take them not. His cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. So yeah, man, the family, you know, hey man, counted a loss, man, but counted the gain, the brotherhood, man, it's the true family, man. Start with our, our Lord and Savior. It's like you start with our heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior, the Al-Bashir and Shai, and then the Hakim. Okay? That's the family. That's who comes first, man. The men of the Lord. And these and, and sisters, man, that believe. Okay? With that, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Salaki. Before I close out, I'm going to grab one more scripture because there's a reward that comes with forsaking all of these things, man. All of your family. And I ain't saying, like, forget them in a way like you don't love them. You know what I'm saying? I'm basically saying, you know, uh, forsaking and putting them, you know, to the side to serve the Lord, right? and doing the, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, basically. You can't get into your emotions because of your family. And that's just what this whole lesson is about, man. You can't get tied up into your emotions, you know, and, and do what they want you to do because those are your loved ones, okay? They might have you going off, you know what I'm saying, doing some wicked shit, man. You got to forsake that, man. For your how about show me our shot? That's why the Lord said, "Them who do the will of my heavenly Father, that is my family." So you got to do the will of the heavenly Father, man. For sake of your family, man. But your family, they, 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 they stuck in their emotions, man. They stuck on sleep, okay? But basically, there's a reward, you know. what I'm saying with doing that. And I'm gonna get there real quick. This is a uh, Matthew uh, 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, and follow me. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also shall sit upon twelve thrones, Judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and every one that had forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay, so that, that that's what you're gonna get, man. You're gonna inherit. Everlasting life, man, and everything that comes with it, man. You know, you're gonna be royalty, and the Lord is gonna give you what your heart desires, man, in the kingdom of the in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, forsaking the way, basically forsaking the way of this world, man. That's what you're doing. Forsaking your family, because all of our families, unfortunately, you know, they gonna wake up to the truth, man. Even though we love them, we love our families, we love our, our mothers and fathers. Our sisters and our brothers, our cousins, our grandparents, our wives, our children. But unfortunately, they're not going to wake up to the truth, man. You know? It is what it is, man. This is part of, this is part of the truth that you got to deal with, man. Okay? It's part of the cross, man, that you got to bear, man. 
All right? I just wanted to edify you brothers, man. I hope you brothers, you know, was edified with this lesson. And with that, man, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shimei and Rashad, by Hashem and Kach and Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and who will peace and salutations to all you Aquaman out there, Aquas. You know, that's a uh, uh, that's a uh, uh, listening to this word humbly and being obedient. With that, shalom.